The car has been sitting here for some 15 hours and last night it was a relatively cold night. The temperature was around minus 10 degrees. So um, definitely the car battery now has also very low temperature. You could say that it is pretty much frozen. Of course in reality the battery never gets frozen. There is the battery management system in the seal that automatically takes care of the um, battery temperature. Um, and, and ensures that it has the, the sufficient um, temperature always. But um, nevertheless, it is um, definitely at the really low temperature after spending this time in minus 10 degrees. And um, guess what we are going to do? We are going to test the DC fast charging curve in these far from optimal conditions. So uh, we are going to drive to a nearby uh, fast charger and we are going to record what is the charging curve that the seal can, can pull in, in these conditions. And this is almost like a worst case scenario really. It's, um, the, the battery is cold. We are not going to drive more than some 10 kilometers before the charger. So it won't get any temperature in. Then we just plug in and see how much can it pull. I'm not really expecting any top charging powers in, in this session. Um, it is the most challenging situation for any electric car, but it will be interesting to see how does the seal perform in these uh, challenging conditions. So let's uh, start warming up the cabin and then let's go. The electric seal. The battery state of charge is uh, like half full so um, and, and really cold temperature. So I'm not expecting um, definitely not above 100 kilowatts. Uh, we, we won't see that kind of power in any way uh, with these conditions. But um, I think, um, you know, of course, depending on uh, how many other cars there are charging at the same time, but we should be able to pull over 50 kilowatts. So let's see what is the outcome today. One additional angle to this charging experiment is that I now finally have the latest software version in the car. So 1.3.1 I have that, that one installed. And uh, some users are saying that this version might have some issues with the DC charging. Uh, I see many people reporting uh, really low charging powers, like something like 10 kilowatts or, or so. So that's one additional thing to test. Does the charging work at all normally? But, um, but let's see. Uh, it is nevertheless worrying to see these uh, reports from the other drivers of the seal. Let's hope that uh, if there is an issue with the 1.3.1, that it would get solved really fast because of course the charging is a basic functionality of any electric car and really there shouldn't be a possibility that something like that would uh, kind of uh, find its way to the public software release so let's keep an eye on that one So the seal is now plugged in to this charger and we are getting 37 kilowatts here at the start. So that's an okay start of the session considering that it's um, uh, really a cold battery. But now actually it drops to 
10 kilowatts. So I wonder if this is exactly the same issue that the other drivers of the seal have reported with the latest uh, software version 1.3.1. So at least many of them are claiming that the charging power drops to 10 kilowatts and here we can see that the car is reporting only eight and a half kilowatts whereas the charger said I think 10 kilowatts so um, so yeah yeah 10 kilowatts so um, yeah and now it's down to nine nine kilowatts so this is a super slow DC charging speed of course um, but uh, I still wonder if this is due to the cold battery or is this about the software version and possible issues with DC charging. So we need to now see if this charging power will be ramped, will be ramping up from here. I certainly hope that it will uh, pick up soon. Uh, if it doesn't, then it's uh, about the software version most definitely and some bugs with the DC charging but uh, if it's only about the battery then of course it should be um, warming up constantly as, as we uh, continue this session and actually now it is up to 39 kilowatts here so okay it's back to this level so it was just a couple of minutes uh, drop to, to 10 kilowatts and the car is now reporting 32 kilowatts there is actually quite a bit of discrepancy there as the charger was saying 40 almost 40 kilowatts and uh, car is saying 32 so I wonder why is there that big difference uh, usually it's about um, about 10 percent so now I'm not at the car but checking the status from the BYD app and um, what we see here is um, is that the current battery state of charge is 55 percent and we are pulling 38 kilowatts so that is not uh, great but it's not that terrible either um, so i'm happy that at least the dc fast charging seems to work properly and given the cold battery um, this is um, I, I think um, a pretty okay result but now checking again mm we are only seeing 27 kilowatts at 59% so um, that's interesting that it's, it has dropped again um, to this, this level so this is not looking uh, too good now at the moment I would have expected that this uh, power would be uh, ramping up of course the state of charge is already 59% that's not uh, optimal anymore and it wasn't even in the beginning of the charging session it was um, I think 49% but um, yeah well let's see how it goes from here now we are up to 61 kilowatts at 74 percent getting back to the car and we can see what is the the, the status there now the seal is pulling 69 kilowatts um, and the Volvo here is pulling only 8 kilowatts. Probably the battery starts to be quite full with this, with this Volvo. But the seal, 72 kilowatts. And the state of charge is already close to 80%. Okay, so maybe the car has uh, heated the battery. That's one explanation. But still a really, really weird charging curve. Now let's see what the car reports. It reports 70 kilowatts at 77%. Um, so one of the weirdest, if not the weirdest charging curve ever. 73 kilowatts. Interesting. The charging station has been pretty much fully occupied for this whole charging session, I believe. Almost all I think all chargers are in use at the moment and the charging is ramping up still 81 was the final peak power so this has to be one of the weirdest charging curves that I've ever seen but anyway thanks for watching and until next time